All right, so we're playing Brayden today, and I'm not confident in this matchup because Mox did not go super well until right near the end after a few final adjustments. But really, Brayden's team has a lot of flexibility in what kind of sets it can bring, and he can bring basically all of his mons to this game. Every single one is somewhat valuable here. So it's going to be tough, but we're going to get into it. And hopefully my strat works. Uh, we're running double sash this week on Thunderous and the Iron Treads. And uh, we got a few other little tricks up our sleeve. So here we go. Let's go. All right. So Yanmega, Raikou, Hatterene. We have the Ogre Pawn. Interesting. Okay. Interesting setup here. Uh, so Glamour is here. Mana Buzz is here. Keldeo is not here. Strange. Uh, Dustnor is not here. Lorantis isn't here. Mamoswine's not here, and our Chaladon's not here. So let's go to the other window. I know what my lead is, so I'm going to set that right away. Uh, there we go. Into pretty much everything, it's always Thundy. There we go. Okay, so no Keldeo. This is instead Yan Mega. And it's also a Terramon, Bug and Fire specifically. We'll set it to like that color. Uh, okay, it's cut off, but that's okay. Raikou's here. Lorantis is not. This is like Mandibuzz. Uh, Mamoswine's not here. This is Ogre Pawn Hearth Flame. Hearth Flame. And that cuts off, doesn't it? Yep. Oh well. Dust Noir is Hatterene. Okay, so layout is updated. And let's go. I know Yanmega's head cuts off. I know that Ogre Pond's name cuts off, unfortunately. Uh, I can actually fix Ogre Pond's name really fast. Uh, like that. And now it fits. Yay! Okay. So we're leading Raik... Uh, sorry. We're leading Thunderous into his team. And this is going to be an Ogre Pond lead, so this is just going to be a sludge wave for me. We could see Rock Tomb here. That is a valid play. But that's okay. He's not knocking me out with anything because we're focused Sash. And we're just going to go for Sludge Wave. Turn one. He might want to switch. He does withdraw. What's his switch into this? Raikou? Okay, cool. That's a free Sludge Wave. That's great. So this is going to be a Sludge Wave. Hits it for good damage. Uh, I need to get to my... He's Leftovers as well. So he took about 16 after leftovers, so 22. I want to see what kind of Raikou that is. Raikou, Sludge Wave, 31. This is like max bulk. It's very specially defensive, actually. So I could switch. I think I will. Um, Scald could two-hit KO my treads. Scald from no investment. Let's say it does. So I'm kind of tempted to stay in here. Uh, alternatively, I could go into. Oh, well, no, I think it's just stay in, right? Stay in and focus blast, maybe taunt because he could be like calm mind, I suppose. Yeah, let's taunt and see what he wants to do. Let's keep him from moving here. Oh, I am on the wrong window on the other one. Hold on. Where am I here? There we go. Now we're clicked in. So in is the Raikou. He does Scald, so he reveals Scald. Great. Get off the taunt. Uh, how much did we take from that? What are we at? We took 299 down to 218. That is 71. 71 from Scald into my Thunderous. 71 HP. That's not supposed to do that little. Is it 81? In which case, he's like literal zero investment. Uh, which means Thunderbolt actually does not KO me. Even with Burn. It does a max of 154 damage. So I think I stay in again and go for Focus Blast. Hit him for as much damage as possible. And then go from there. So, seeing that he's taunted, he can't call mine. He could Volt Switch here. 
Yeah, we're just gonna focus blast. We're faster than the Raikou as well. Yeah, this thing is like max Bidef. Absolute max. There's Scald again. So he's using this to check Thunderous, essentially. He saw that Thunderous was a problem, probably, in prep, and that's what he's doing. He's also Leftovers. I should probably write that. Leftovers, okay. So, uh, with that said, I still don't want to go into Treads. So I think I still just Focus Blast here. Alternatively, I could Sludge Wave. I could go Prim. Actually, Primarina is not bad. Because of the fact that he didn't bring the Keldeo and he's max Spadef, I could just go Prim and, and flip turn. I'm giving him lefties turns, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I do have to consider that I could get burned. Um, alternatively, I just Sludge Wave, just use my lead the way it was supposed to be used and just leave it off there. We die to the, the next Scald, I think, with the burn. So yeah, I think I do just Sludge. Sludge is good here. He's gonna keep spamming Scald because he does not want my Iron Treads to come in. There it is. And there's the Scald with the burn is going to take us out. And what's cool here is that now I can go uh, Spectrier actually, or actually, even better, I can go Scrafty and start setting up. Because if he's max HP, max Spadef, if I get to plus one, even after leftovers, I think he dies. I didn't get to see for sure. But uh, yeah, I think we are gonna go Scrafty here. We have the Citrus. What is he bringing on Scrafty? Hatterene? Like, that's it? That's the only thing that can come in, really? Yeah, 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 we go, we go Scrafty, okay. All right, swap in. Here is Scrafty. Let's see if he's in or focus. He's not, he's pressure. Okay, that's fine. We just go for a Dragon Dance here uh, without terrestrializing. If he Aura Spheres, it's not the end of the world. I can Terra the turn after. Uh, yeah, we don't want to Terra yet. We're just gonna close combat. Uh, sorry, we're, we're gonna Dragon Dance here as out goes the Raikou. What comes in? Could be the Yan Mega, I suppose. It wouldn't be a bad play. He could be Terra Fire or Terra Bug. Goes Hattering. Okay, cool. That's great. So we are going to DD here. And then I think I'm going to Terra and SD. Because if his entire team is slower than this, even if this is screens, that's my play, right? So Terra and Swords Dance. And then at plus three, do I KO Hatterene? If it's like just max HP. Hatterene. I'm Terastalized at plus three. I do not. I two it KO it. Uh, that, is that? No, that's like max bold. I still two it KO it though, right? Like if it's modest. Yeah, I still two it KO. Um, I think this is still my play. So we're going to Terra into a Fairy. The Raikou's sitting at about 60. Got to pull up my HP bars here. Uh, Raikou's the third Mon. It's like at 60, 61. I didn't get to see the exact amount, but that's about where it is. So that's where we'll put it. So in comes Hat. We SD. Let's see what he goes for. Could be a Nuzzle. It's going to be a Psy Shock. That's fine. We're going to get our Citrus Berry here. Sweet. Now, if I were to go to plus four, I still don't KO. So we are just going to go for the Terra Blast here. Assuming that he's max HP, which he should be. So here's the Terra Blast at plus three. Does about half, so he's max bold. Here's Psy Shock. We're easily gonna eat this, perfect. Now he could have a Scarfer in the back, obviously. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Hat's dead here, because I think it just hit 50%. Yeah, it literally just hit 50. So, Terra Blast again. And that should be a KO on the Hat. Now, we are Intimidate, so we're not going to get, like, a Moxie boost or anything here. But he needs a Scarfer to revenge me. Nothing else will do. So, we are just going to go for Terra Blast now. Uh, like we said, Hat's at 50, so let's put it there. 
I still have my rocks that I can set up. If this thing goes down, rocks can go up freely. That's really good for Yan Mega if it's not boots. It's good for Glamora for breaking a sash, and it's good for Ogre Pond. It's also good into Raikou, but... Yeah, here's Terra Blast. This should KO. No problemo. There we go. Down goes Hat. So that is dead. It did have Psy Shock. And it was Leftovers. That's something to keep in mind. Now, does he have anything faster than this? Is the question. We will see. If he doesn't, that's good. The Yanmego, like I said, could be Terra Fire. In comes Ogre Pond. This is not faster than me. Is it? Oh, this is faster than me. Right, I went slower. Okay, so that said, we could go hard ace or we can sax crafty. Do either or. Another dragon dance there would have been great because I would have been faster than this. I mean, there is still a chance that I am, but probably not. Now, ace does go crazy once I get up a bulk up. Like, it's actually insane, as long as I don't miss high jump kick. So I think I do just CC here. See what he goes for. Cudgel will kill me. I am faster. Wow. All right, down goes Ogre Pond. Sweet. So that's dead. I guess I got the speed creep right. <laughs> All right, nice. Why didn't he outspeed Treads? Strange. Yeah, because at plus one, I hit 303. In comes Raikou. This is also not faster than me because it's like max bulk. So I am just going to Terra Blast. Plus three Terra Blast should easily take this out. Let's check Raikou. Uh, with max HP. We know that it's max HP. Plus three Terra Blast easily knocks it out. So we don't have to go for a close combat. We just Terra Blast. We're faster. Down goes the Raikou. And I think this is a clean sweep based on how he's playing this. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, and again, he can still Terra the Yen Mega into a fire type. However, if he does that at this point, uh, Prim looks insane. So in comes the Yen Mega. We're just going to Terra Blast. Let's see what he does. Yeah, like I said, if he Terra's into a fire type, it doesn't matter. We still have our Sash and we still have Prim. So here's the Terra. Let's see if it's Bug. He knows my four moves. It is Bug. So this, I think this is just gonna drop. If he EV'd this the same way as the others, then this is this just dies. Okay, so I think it might be Scarfed. It is gonna kill me, obviously. Let's see if it's Tinted Lens or if it is um, the other thing. Speed boost. Not speed boost. Okay. So, Terra Bug, I can go into uh, Treads and go for Heavy Slam. No play punishes that, I don't believe. Now, he'll be faster than me the next turn if he is Scarfed. But I'll have that information. And I just want to see how much Treads does to the Yan Mega now that it's Terra into a Bug. Yan yeah, Mega, Terra into a bug, please. Heavy Slam does 58 to 69, so it's actually not enough. So Primarina's still really good here, so I don't really want to go into it. Uh, I think I'd much rather go into Treads and Rapid Spin uh, to then be faster, because I'm pretty sure my Treads is... No, it hits 299. So if he's like a specific kind of Scarf, he actually he's actually fine. Um, I just want to see, is this Yan Mega like bulky? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, all right. So, that said, I think I still spin because then I get the info, right? If he is Scarf, then I find out. Uh, and then I can use my Spectrier maybe to punish that. So yeah, we are just going to go spin here. He is just going to Bug Buzz. He's faster than me right now, obviously, because he was faster than plus one Scrafty. That looks Specs. There's no way... It Okay, yeah, yeah, it brought me down to Sash. Like, it literally triggered Sash. Bug Buzz. It's gotta be. It has to be Specs. So we're just gonna go for Heavy Slam here. Withdraws, okay. That's fine. What comes in the Mandibuzz? 
That's fine because then I get up rocks. So here's the heavy slam. Does good damage. Uh, and we're just going to put up stealth rocks at this point. Because I know the Yanmega specs now, uh, I can just win with Spectre, I think. At this point. So there's the rocks up. Here's Roost. Awesome. So now we can just play this game forever. We can just keep heavy slamming and rocks up. Rocks up. Uh, Cause he only has eight roosts, right? So yeah, we just heavy slam. No problem. There's the defog, and then we put back up the rocks. We're still faster than both remaining mons. Uh, I'm basically just trying to get the uh, KO here on my treads. Trying to have his uh, his mana buzz take out my treads. So we know there's a mana buzz has a roost. There's knockoff. Finally knocks me out. Okay, so knockoff roost, right? I think I can go spec. I'm pretty sure I can go Spectre here and just burn. Uh, alternatively, I could just go Cinderace and win the game. Again, just like last week. Uh, high jump kick. I think he'd be more spadef, right? Let's actually calc the Iron Tread's damage into Mandibuzz. Mandy. Defensive. It is Fizz Def. Okay. So I think we are going to go into uh, Spectre here. Actually. Uh, alternatively, I could go that. But yeah, no, I do. I, th I think I just go spec. I, I just go spec. I hit the wisp, right? We don't miss the wisp. <laughs> and we we take advantage of this. So here's Will-O-Wisp. There's wisp. This thing was boots, I think. It should be boots. All right. We burn it. Sweet. There's Toxic. We are Lum. So this is great. Because now I can go for a Nasty Plot this turn. Pop. Nice. Alright. And now we're going to go for a Nasty Plot. Even if he roosts, we're fine. So Plot up here. Sweet. This is going to be our first Spec Sweep. Is this it? Let's find out. So he should not be scarfed on the Yen Mega. That should be Specs damage. From what I calced. So Mandibuzz takes more damage. Now I need to see if Spec actually KOs from here. Mandy's at 56. So Mandibuzz with max speed F. Uh, calm. Or careful, I guess. All right? Careful. Draining Kiss at plus 2. Does not KO. I'm better off going into plus four. Yeah. We have to plot again. So here's plot. Let's see if he roosts. Knockoff's not going to do anything because he's burned and I have no item. So there's the roost. Now I want to see how much Draining Kiss does. So we take 12 there. 12%. Next turn we take 18, but we get everything back. So I could plot again, actually. Now, his last move could be Whirlwind. Defog, Roost, Knock Off, Toxic. It's not. It's not. We know all four. Uh, so yeah, we just plot again. Here's plot. So now we're plus six. He has to Roost again. No, he doesn't. Okay. All right. That's fine. We're going to get everything back here. We're going to take 18% here. And then we're going to Draining Kiss. Should knock out everything. So here we go. Mandy's probably dead. Honestly. It is. Okay, sweet. We kill the Mandibuzz. This could be the Spectre sweep. We go back up to full. We take 25% this turn. Then we take 37. No, not 37. 30. Uh, so 54 total. Here's 24%. And the next turn we take 30. So, so long as the Glamora is not scarfed... We just straight win right now. Hex. And even if it is Scarfed, I don't think it knocks me out. So here's Hex. This should easily knock out Glamora at plus six. Dead. Beautiful. And that should be a win. And even if Yan Mega is Scarfed and locks in a Bug Buzz, we have AV Primarina in the back. 
and we just click Moonblast into Aquajetic in case Moonblast doesn't kill. And that's that. There you have it. All right, so this went a lot smoother than I thought it would. I'm very happy. Uh, how many Pokemon did I have left? Uh, three. Big 3 0. Okay. So let's hex. And this should be faster than the Anmega. We hit 355 speed. There we go. It is not scarfed, as I said. It's probably specs. And that is GG's to my opponent. Go check out Brayden in the description down below for me, guys, please. Uh, as well as all the other coaches in the BBR this season. Your Montreal Habsols are now 4 and 3, with, I believe, pretty much guaranteed playoffs at this point. Uh, I, we might have to like squeak out a narrow loss if we do lose next week, but I'm pretty sure we make playoffs here. So we bounced back from a very rough start. Uh, we won the last two weeks, and now we are in contention for making playoffs. So that's great. And uh, if you guys do enjoy, as usual, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If this is your first time checking out the channel or otherwise, if uh, you've just been here and haven't subscribed yet, because I do know the 53% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So please do so if you haven't yet. And I will catch you guys next week. Peace.